And more breaking news this morning. The search is continuing for a 20 year old who reportedly drowned near the west end of Dolphin Island yesterday afternoon. Search and rescue crews were out overnight and they're continuing to look for him this morning. He was reported missing around 6 o'clock last night near Raphael Sims Street. Megan Mackey joins us live from Dolphin Island with more on the search efforts. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Deb. And well, it's been all hands on deck since this 20 year old was reported missing yesterday afternoon. He was last seen near a sandbar here on the west end of Dauphin Island. And since then, helicopters and boats with the U.S. Coast Guard have been out searching for any sign of him. Now, the drowning reportedly happened about 15 hours ago at this point, but officials have not said this is a recovery. It is still an active search. The missing swimmer is described as a black man last seen wearing gray and white swim trunks. Jeff Collier, the mayor of Dauphin Island, says he was visiting from out of state. Yesterday, yellow flags were flying and the Gulf waters were choppy. Anytime something like this happens, Mayor Collier says it is truly a tragedy. Unfortunately, you know, we live in a beautiful place here along the Gulf of Mexico, but there are also hazards, as we know, when it comes to the Gulf and uh, high winds, tides, those types of things do create danger. Uh, and so it's a very unfortunate circumstance that we're dealing with right now. Uh, as of this morning, uh, searches are still underway uh, to try to recover the individual uh, and there'll be other resources brought in uh, as we speak. Now, this is a multi-agency search being conducted by the U.S. Coast Guard, the Mobile County Sheriff's Office, as well as Dauphin Island Police and Fire. As you heard Mayor Collier say, more resources are being brought in as we speak, both state police and search and rescue crews from Daphne. And we even just saw in the last hour ATVs with the Mobile County Sheriff's Office combing the shoreline because there is a concern that the body could wash ashore. Mayor Collier says if you see something, be sure to contact local authorities, but we will keep you updated on the search as the day continues. Reporting live on Dolphin Island, I'm Megan Mackey for WKRG News 5.